In this particular video, I want to discuss how to use a logo within Easy As so that when you print your invoices and quotes, etc., they appear with a, with a logo on top. Now, you have a choice within Easy As of two different types of logos that you can use. If I click the setup button on the main screen, we look in the bottom here, it says set up and activate invoice logos. Now it says invoice logos, but for anything that uses a logo, you go into here and you activate it from here. Now the logo screen pops up and there's three distinct areas here which you have a look at. I'm just going to jump to the bottom one first. This here is pretty logical. To, before you can use a logo, you have to switch it on. By default, I think it's normally switched off. To use logos, you have to switch it on. It just means that you can turn logos on and off at any time that you want. Why you'd want, you'd want to do that after you turned it on, I don't know. But the choice is there. No matter what you do with these two areas up here, a logo will not appear unless you've switched it on. This instructs Easy As to start using logos. But this will not work if Easy As cannot locate the logo that you are wanting to use. So each area has to be used together. So the first thing to do is start at number one. Section number one, section number two, section number three. So we start at section number one, we have a choice. If we click this icon, it says, what type of logo do you want to use? If we have a look here, it says, well, that's an example of, say, an, an invoice. The logo can appear in the top left-hand corner, or you might have a logo that you want to appear across the top. Now, how does that look? If I just quickly jump here, and I'm going to jump to the Easy As website, I'm going to show you how that looks. Let me just jump here to an example on an invoice. We have a look and there's an example here of how a logo might appear on an invoice in the corner. And here's an example of how a logo might appear across the top of an invoice. So that's what these two things are talking about. So the first choice you have to make is what type you're going to use. If I click A, it now says logo type A is in use. If I click B, it now says logo type B is in use. That's pretty simple. So once you click that, that is going to be in use from then on. So, and it even says underneath what type of logo is in use. That will be in use for everything. Of course, you can change that at any time if you want. Now, the next spot is to tell, instruct Easy As where the logo is. Because you have to remember this, you can have up to five different businesses with Easy As. And each business can actually have its own logo guys. So that sounds pretty obvious, but if you don't instruct Easy As where the logo is located and more importantly what the name of the logo is for each individual business, it's going to use a default logo. And it's normally the logo that's found in the data directory. And the example logos that come with Easy As are the Easy As logo. So the last thing you want to do is use our logo on your invoice. So it's as simple as this. If I just have a quick look at the structure of the program. If we have a look, the program is set up and if you have a look here, this is the data subdirectory. Easy as counting eight data subdirectory. Near the data subdirectory you, you have all your data files and naturally you have your logos. Now we have two example sample logos here. You see how I've got some more here? Because I've been creating extra logos. So you can either you leave all your logos in the data subdirectory or you can put them somewhere else if you want. Normally, because this is a sample program I'm using here, I've just left the logos in the data directory. When I actually use my logos, I actually have them in another location on the computer, so is that if I ever wipe the system for whatever purpose, I don't delete my logos because I don't want to have to recreate them again. When you do a backup with Easy As, it only backs up the data files. It is not backing up your logos. Your logos are a personal thing you have to do. So. If you create logos, all I'm saying is it doesn't matter where you put them. Just make sure you have a backup copy somewhere, guys. So if you ever lose your information or, lose, or your system crashes, you've still got a backup somewhere of your logos because they can take some time to create and the last thing you want to do is lose it. Now, if we have a look here, I've got an Easy As logo. See how the size of the logo? The sample you get will appear like this. The, the corner logo that's using an Easy Ads, the corner logo here... Sorry, where is it? This one up here actually could be bigger over to here. But that is the normal size of the logo that Easy As have used. And when they shrink it down, it looks better not to make it stretch to the whole 
size of the actual logo itself. So you actually can create your logo and it can take up that whole square if you want. Or if your logo looks better by just keeping it uniform in the corner, then that's fine. It just means that that rest of it doesn't print with anything. So exactly what happens here. So I could have gone out this far, but rather than stretching it and forcing it to go over here, which would have made this circle oblong and it would have put everything off perspective, they chose just to leave it as is. So you have to remember that when you're creating your logos, what looks best on the invoice. So you've got a choice of doing this two or three times until you get it right, of course. Now, logo number two, you'll find is the long logo. And you can edit that, of course. And there's the size of your long logo. Now, I suggest that when you first create your logos, create a backup of the two logos that come with the program. Because they're sample logos and they're usually the size that the program uses. So when you're creating your logo, if you mess the size up, for example, if I mess the size up and you go, oh, how big was that size meant to be? You can actually edit another logo and you can see what the size are. Because in most programs, you can actually see what size of the logo is. Okay, um, And the size for this, the logo that suits Easy As is 618 by 100. But of course, if you muck up your logos, just go to the website and you can download another example logo. And it's already in the size it's meant to be. So... What I'm trying to get at, keep copies of your logos. And if you have different businesses, you can have different logos for each business. So what we need to do is, if you have a look here, currently it's using logo number one, the PDF one, which is logo number one, PDF. The while I've created two different logos, I actually found that with the PDF program I was using, it made the logo look stretched. It stretched it more. See, I've got more of a gap on this one. It actually was stretching the logo, and I couldn't work out what was going on. But it, but it, it made me realize that the that the PDF program I was using has nothing to do with Easy As. It's outside of Easy As, so we've got no control over that. But I discovered that because it was stretching it, the actual image needed to be bigger to compensate for the PDF program. So I just made that bigger. And you need to be aware of that. You need to print your logo to a printer first. Print an invoice to a printer. See how it looks. And then if you use a program that stretches it or if the image doesn't look quite right when you're printing to a PDF program, you might have to edit that logo, the original logo, and make it slightly bigger or slightly smaller, whatever you think needs to happen. And um, in this case, you know, I had to make it slightly bigger to make it look good on the, on the, um, on the PDF. So you've got to be aware of that. There's these little tricky things you might have to be aware of. And... It's really outside of Easy As's control because then they're not in control of programs that you're using on your PC. So just be aware there's, there's a few little things. But look, over, over the whole, it appeared that Easy As's logo didn't look real good when it was stretched. But it doesn't mean your logo won't. So you could have a logo and it looks fine when it's stretched. So how do we tell it the location? You simply click this icon here and you, you have a choice to type it in we have a choice to click here and tell the program where the logo is. So if I actually, that's going to the data directory, but it could have been anywhere. I mean, it could have been over on my D drive and it could have been that that's the logo there. I don't even know what that is, guys. So I'm just going to click that for the sake of clicking it. And I don't even know what that is. So let me see what that happens to be. Oh, it happens to be some sort of image that was being messed around with. So now that's the logo. So, it so easy as doesn't care what it is as long as it's an image and it has to be in a bitmap BMP image folks a BMP it doesn't want to see JPEG images it won't see anything but a BMP image if you're not quite sure what that is it's an image that is created using the standard Microsoft paint program when you save it using that it saves as a BMP so if you have an image that's been created for your logo that's been designed and it's been designed in another format. A JPEG image is probably the most common, or a PNG. You need to resave that image as a BMP. Now, if you're not quite sure what I'm talking about here, you need to find get someone who not understands all this. Just someone who has basic computer knowledge but normally understand what's going on. So once you resave your image as a BMP file, easy as, we'll see it. I just need to change that back because that is going to muck me up. Go back to easy as, counting, data. And let me just select that. 
OK. So once you select OK, it tells you what the image is. So you actually get to see it. So I've selected OK. That's the image. And there we go. So because it's switched on, that's it. I'm set up for logos. So what did I do? I clicked here. I selected the type of logo I want. I told the computer where the logo was. And I just turned it on. That simple. So now anything I print using the program in this profile, in Mr. Smithville's profile, will be switched on. Now if I jump to another profile, I'll just show you that. Oh, I'll jump to Mr. Spray Painting, something else I created. Now, I don't think I've set logos up here. See, it's switched off. So see what I said before? You can have a different logo for each individual business. And we'll see here, in Mr. Smithfield's profile, it was using Logo 1 PDF. In this one, it's actually using Logo 1. So that proves to you that you can have different logos for different profiles, which is logical. That's exactly what you're after. Now, I hope I explained this enough. It's very simple to set up. Once you understand the format, you can do this 10,000 times. And just remember the logo, guys. You can practice and practice and practice and practice and practice until you get your logo right. And one of the best ways to achieve that you've got your logo exactly the way you want it and exactly how, it's, how you want it to look is to create an invoice or create a dummy invoice if that's what you have to do. And just print, print preview it. When you print preview the logo or you print preview an invoice with the logo, you get to see how it's going to look on your invoice. So if it doesn't look quite right, so with your address and everything else appearing here, and everything's uniform on the invoice, and you go, well, that logo doesn't quite look that right on the invoice. You can adjust the size of it, or you can adjust your image, whatever's going... I wouldn't adjust the size, unless you had to, but I'd, I'd adjust the image. So in this case here, I could have made that image bigger. And you do whatever's required. So that's the easiest way to check that how your logo is appearing, is just to go to an invoice and just print preview it, rather than printing it to a printer and wasting all that paper each time. I think I've explained everything I need to explain about logos.